Hello, welcome back to my channel. My name is Carissa Conrad and I'm a doctor of physical therapy and therapeutic pain specialist and I am the vagus nerve PT. Now, Cure Anki Spondy commented requesting information on vagus nerve stimulation and ankylosing spondylitis, so that's what I'm going to talk about today. I found a research article where they looked at 20 patients with psoriatic arthritis and 20 patients with ankylosing spondylitis. They performed handheld stimulation to the vagus nerve for two minutes, three times per day for just five days. At the end of the study, what they saw was that in the group of patients with psoriatic arthritis, they had a 20% reduction in C-reactive protein, which is an inflammatory protein. And in the ankylosing spondylitis group, they saw decreased interferon Y and decreased levels of interleukin-8 and interleukin-10. All three of those are typically elevated in autoimmune conditions. So a decrease in those levels uh, is associated with decreased disease severity. So what was interesting about the ankylosing spondylitis research is that for the most part, it's bulked in with any research that's done on autoimmune conditions. And there's quite a bit of research that shows that transcutaneous vagus nerve stimulation is effective at reducing disease severity for those with autoimmune conditions. So I'll do another video on, um, on autoimmune conditions in general. But that's what I found on ankylosing spondylitis. Thanks so much for watching. Please let me know if there are other conditions that you'd like me to take a look at the research for. And subscribe, and we'll see you soon.